All right, good afternoon, folks. Today's video update stems from a question from one of our members asking why in the world did we get long grains in the, in the wake of all of this negative news related to China and the tariffs. Now, obviously, if China decides to put a halt on imports of grains from the U.S., it's going to have a negative impact on the grain markets. Thus, prices in corn, beans, wheat, and the other grain complexes will likely take a nosedive. Now our members know and we took advantage of two very high probability seasonal plays during the summer months. One, we expect a grain rally right near the beginning of the summer months because of unpredictable weather patterns. Whether it is drought or flooding, we can always usually expect to see a boost in grain prices. Subsequently, around the mid to late June to July summer months, that weather scare or that weather premium begins to alleviate and you see prices come back down to reality. So we know that we have these cycles that have proven themselves over and over again in the markets and then we look for technical patterns to confirm. So where are we at now? Well, we know that the markets rose, they topped out as, as expected, and then they've come back down and now we are starting to approach another seasonal period where the grains typically start to bottom out around August, September, October, or a little bit of a boost going into the fall. So we, we didn't have a huge break in beans. We're looking at November soybeans right now, but we've used a couple of key components aside from seasonal cycles and historical averages. So the market has come back down and all we did was draw a Fib retracement from this swing high to this swing low. And notice that, which is right here, and notice that the market came down and traded into this 618, made a beautiful reversal pattern at the 618 or around the 867, 868 level. And that is where we got long beans. We got long at 868 and in pre-market trading, they're trading around 890 for about for a gain of about 15 cents or about $750 a contract. Now, if we go to the continuous contract, I already had key levels marked on the chart. These are key levels going back days, weeks, months, and even years in some cases of where we have had important price structure, meaning important areas of support or resistance. For whatever reason, the prices have reacted off of those levels. And so we had these levels marked weeks in advance, they've been on these charts for months, at least mine, for areas to potentially watch. So once that we did come down into that area and we went to the front, to the front month contract November, we knew that we were bouncing off a key level. We had a reversal candle at the 618. We know that there are high probability seasonal patterns of basing out around this time. And so that's why we took the trade to the long side. Now we also did the same thing in corn. We had a very similar pattern, had this area of support marked on the chart for several weeks in advance. We had another similar pattern, the 618 retracement level at these key levels, at this key support area. And then we also can drill down to our lower time frame or the four hour chart and we can see try and pinpoint tighter entries and also use additional confirmation such as our one two using our one two three indicator if we go over to the soybeans we had the same pattern the one two three pattern and it's reaching its profit objective here closely so this is just another example of while we are always cognizant of headline risk and news going on we must still dive into the charts, look at the price action, look at the price structure, and make our decisions from there. So hope it helps, and we'll see you on the next update.